a symbol of resistance in a destroyed city. One year after their fight against the Islamic State group, the people in the Kurdish city of Kobani have built a permanent reminder of their victory. Along with pride comes dreams of something bigger, an opportunity as Syria fractures. I'm proud to say I want a Kurdish independent state. We joined the Syrian revolution, but for different reasons. And in the meantime, we're not pushing to break up Syria. Kobani, with the help of US air power, held out against months of IS attacks. The fight against Islamic State has sparked both Kurdish pride and anger. Over a year later, and the Kurds continue to push back IS. Their forces now span the majority of the border, and that has raised the prospect of conflict with Turkey, who accused the Kurds of supporting militant attacks on their soil. We joined Kurdish positions along the Euphrates at Tishrin Dam. Their control here is fragile. IS can attack at any time. The river here represents a red line for Ankara. If the Kurdish forces move across it to secure the entire border, it could draw Turkey into the war. Despite pressure, the Kurds have already started to push across the river. Islamic State is finding it increasingly difficult to hold ground. The airstrikes are having an effect. Just two days before we arrived, fighter jets stopped a convoy of suicide truck bombs. They tried to attack us. As you can see, this car is full of explosives, but the airstrikes are very accurate. The planes didn't want to damage the road, so they hit beside it and still managed to stop the attack. Shortly after this, we were told to stop filming and leave, as IS usually attack at sunset. The conflict here in Syria is now pitting two allies of the West against each other. Turkey is an important NATO ally, but the Kurds are the most effective boots on the ground in the war against IS. The question now is, which side will the West back? Firas Kidani, BBC News, Aleppo province, Syria.